So we ended our last video with this uh, issue around finding that Bakersfield in our lookup table of April 2019 city rates had an asterisk behind it. So if we come in up here to our input cell and we put an asterisk behind Bakersfield, we found out that that worked. We got our percent back from what the tax rate is in Bakersfield. So from here, we learned about a function called is error. So just to remind everyone about how is error works, I'm going to just come out here in an area and play with that function. Out to the side, I'm going to say equals, and I'm going to type is error. And one thing you can do, if a selection is available down here, you can just hit tab, and Excel will put in whatever is left to put in uh, based on your selection. So in this case, it just put the parentheses. But let's check this cell where we found the error. So I'm going to say is error left paren. I'm going to point at this cell, highlight it, select it. And then I'm going to close my function with a right paren. Hit enter. So what the is error function is telling us here is that there is no error found in this cell. We asked Excel, is there an error? Excel said, no, false. What if we took this asterisk back off the way it was? We know Excel will not find Bakersfield without the asterisk, so that that cell will go back to an error state. When it does, we should see our isError function become true. Let's see if that works. So I just took out the uh, asterisk behind Bakersfield. I'm going to hit enter. Sure enough, we get an error in this cell, and our trap for that error, the function is error, came back true. It's telling us, yes, there is an error in this cell. Okay, so what that does is, is it lets us trap for the error, and rather than uh, end up with an error in the final formula, we can have Excel do something else if there's an error. That'll be our next video, the if function. See you there.